What is up? Welcome back to the ultimate guide to why is my laser not cutting through. Today we're tackling a big issue. It's my material thickness exceeding my laser's capabilities. If your laser isn't cutting all the way through, it might not be a setting issue. It could just be that your material is too thick for your laser to handle. We're going to break down what's happening, how to check if your material is too thick, and what you can do to fix it. And stick around because we're also going to be diving into lens choices and focal length, two things that make a huge difference when cutting thick materials. So what does material thickness exceeding laser capability mean? Basically, if your material is too thick for your laser's power, you'll see incomplete cuts, excessive charring, and wasted materials. Even if you slow down your speed or increase your power, if your laser isn't rated for that thickness or that material, it's not gonna cut all the way through. Let's figure out if my material is too thick for my laser. How do I know if I'm using the correct materials? Before we start adjusting settings, swapping lenses, let's talk about something just as important. What is my material actually made of? Problem number one, some materials just aren't laser friendly. Not all materials are safe to laser cut. Using the wrong materials can damage your laser or produce harmful fumes. Diode lasers won't cut or engrave on clear or transparent materials. CO2 and diode lasers won't cut metal, only mark them. Mirrored materials require some kind of masking to avoid laser reflection. And avoid PVC, it produces toxic fumes when cut. Make sure your material is laser safe. If you're unsure, Google it. Always do a test cut on a piece of scrap material first. Problem number two, glue pockets in plywood. One of the biggest frustrations in laser cutting is glue pockets in plywood. They create resistance and stop your laser in its tracks. Use laser-friendly plywoods like Baltic Birch. It has fewer glued layers. Test different plywood suppliers for consistent, high-quality materials. How do I know if my material is too thick? Before we start tweaking settings, let's figure out if the material is actually too thick for our laser. Step one, check your laser's cutting limits. Every laser has a maximum cutting depth. A 50-watt CO2 laser can cut up to a quarter-inch wood or acrylic, while 100 watt or more can handle half inch. If your material is beyond that, your laser just isn't powerful enough. Check your laser's user manual for maximum cutting thickness and recommendations for various materials. Two, perform a material test cut card. Just use a small piece of material to do your test. If your test isn't clean or if you need more than three passes, the material might be too thick. And step three, inspect the cut edges. Look for burn marks, jagged edges, incomplete cuts. That's a sign that your laser just isn't powerful enough for this material. You have the right material and it's the correct thickness and you're still not cutting through. It might be time to look at your lenses and your focal length. So maybe your material is right at the max thickness for your laser. That's when the right lens and the right focal length become crucial. If you are new to lasers, this is a great time to explain why and when you would use different lenses. Common lens sizes are 1.5 inches up to four inch lenses. A 1.5 inch is great for ultra fine details. A two inch lens is a great all around lens and is great for both cutting and engraving. Where a four inch lens is great for cutting thicker materials or engraving concave areas like the bottom of a bowl or a dish. The lenses don't really look any different, but they focus the beam at different depths. Let's talk about depth of focus. The depth of focus is how deep the laser can maintain its precision without losing the sharpness of the cut or engraving. The focal length also affects the depth of focus. Shorter focal lengths have a shallower depth of focus, which is great for fine details, but less effective for thicker materials. Think of the laser like a super focused beam of light that has to hit a specific point in your material to do its job right. The focal point is where the beam is most concentrated. The depth of focus is the zone around this point where the beam remains effective enough to cut or engrave cleanly and precisely. We have it highlighted here in green. You can see when we stretch the focal length, the depth of focus also increases. To demonstrate, this rectangle represents our half inch material. When I align it under the one and a half inch lens, you can see that it will engrave, but the depth of focus isn't large enough to cut through. As I move it across the various lenses, you can see that the depth of focus on the four inch lens will allow us to cut through our half inch material. How do I fix material thickness issues? Let's go over five ways to fix this issue. Number one, use thinner materials. If your material is too thick, try a thinner version or stack the layers so that it appears to be thicker. It'll save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration. 
Number two, optimize your laser settings. Try higher speeds, higher power, multiple passes to avoid excessive burning. Ensure the air assist is turned up a couple of PSI to cut through thicker materials. It helps clear the smoke and debris from the cutting path. Number three, improve your focus or alignment. If your mirrors or lenses are misaligned even a little bit or your focal height is off just slightly, you may be getting through the thin materials, but you are not getting through the thick stuff. Perform a ramp test and ensure your laser beam is perfectly focused on the material. Number four, choose the appropriate materials. Avoid materials with inconsistent densities or impurities. You want to use materials from a laser supplier. These materials are designed for laser cutting. What you get in the big box stores aren't always consistent. Those are construction materials and don't always cut through consistently. Number five, it might be time to make some upgrades to your laser. Switching to a four inch lens can help with thicker cuts and cleaner edges. Or if you're cutting thicker materials on the regular, you might need a more powerful laser. So why does this matter? Cutting within your laser's limits isn't just about getting clean cuts, it protects your machine too. It saves you time and money, no more wasting materials on failed cuts. It protects your laser. Overloading or overheating your tube shortens the life of your laser. You can also damage your mirrors and ruin your lenses. And better quality, staying within your laser's limits will give you cleaner, more precise, repeatable cuts every time. That's it for episode two of the Ultimate Troubleshooting Guide. If this was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Next time we're covering another laser cutting fail, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> what is the thickest material you've ever tried to cut? And were you successful? Leave me a comment down below. And a big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys. And that is the best way to support this channel. That is the best community over there. Nothing but helpful.